2022 D. Lincoln Shield Sand, graded in mint state 68 red by PCGS. This pen is radiating vibrant mint luster, featuring boldly struck, pristine device elements and distraction-free fields. Eye appeal is outstanding. With overall 59 beads, it ended up selling for $3,262. This is 1970 No S Rosewood Diamond PR 69 cameo condition. Amazing cameo surfaces are mainly untoned and well impressed. Experts seem to think that only about 2200 dimes were struck without S mint mark. This was due to the fact that one die was prepared at Philadelphia and sent to San Francisco to be used. Apparently, the quantity mentioned above was released before the mistake was found and corrected, giving a collector a great error to acquire. This elusive dime ended up selling for $1980. This is 1941 Lincoln Cent with double die of verse, graded in mint state 66 red by PCGS, intensely lustrous rich mint orange with superb overall eye appeal, doubling boldest at liberty of lesser sharpness at in God we trust. One of only handful examples currently known and no doubt among the finest specimens extant. It was sold for $5,750. This is 1932 D. Washington Quarter in MS65 condition. As one of the lowest mintage issues in the entire Washington Quarter series of 1932 date, the 1932 D is a key date issue in all grades. It is also a leading condition rarity for the type with gems more elusive than those of even the lower mintage 1932S. The strike of this coin is expectably sharp for the issue, but the surfaces are far more smoother than typically seen with none but a few inconsequential ticks scattered about. It ended up selling for $14,375. 1959 D. Washington Quarter with multicolored toning, graded in mint state 67 plus by PCGS and proven by CEC. Exceptionally vivid multicolor toning enhances virtually pristine surfaces on both sides of this captivating superb gem. Like its identically dated Philadelphia mint counterparts, the 1959D is surprisingly scarce in the finest mint state grades. For a late date, 90% Washington quarter with mintage of 62 million, 54,232 coins. This highly soft after gem was sold for $9,600. Popular 1969S double die of worst Inkland scent. It was recently showcased at Stax Powers auction. Rated in mint state 63 plus read by PCGS and proven by CAC. Doubling on all of worst letterings are included, except the mint mark. Exciting as a newly discovered example of this rare variety, this is an important choice full red scent. It is attractive with bright, even pinkish rose mint color on both sides. There are few blemishes of any kind and most are so small as to be easily overlooked by the unaided eye. The 1969's double diverse is an extremely desirable variety, having an estimated population of just 40 to 50 pieces based on combined certification service statistics. This elusive specimen was sold for $72,000. 1971s Ike Dollar overstruck on a San Francisco SA office medal, graded as PR69 red by NGC. A bronze San Francisco SA office medal was used as a host for this rare of metal Eisenhower dollar. Much of the undertype is evident, including the Department of the Treasury 1789 on obverse and Sand and CAL on the reverse. West of the lower West of the lower wing. The orange, red, and lilac color is pleasing and demonstrated by outward metal flow on In God We Trust and United. It was sold for $40,800. 1941 Washington Quarter in PR68 Plus condition. Bright silver gray interiors border amazing peripheral shades of peach orange, magenta, violet, and forest green hues on both sides. The underlying surfaces of this superb gem proof are unmarked and fully struck up. This time for the finest collection of the Proof Washington Quarters, it was sold for $3,720. This is 1965 Lincoln Sentinel MS67 Plus Red Condition. The 1965P Lincoln Cent is very common especially since over 1.49 billion examples were struck. Only in MS66 condition is it somewhat scarce, yet still thousands of MS66 examples should still be out there. 
Keep an eye out for high-end MS66 examples, since those are very scarce according to PCGS, especially since examples in MS67 condition are very difficult to find and truly scarce despite having a very large mintage. This elusive specimen was sold for $4,050 with buyer's fee. This is 1972 Jefferson Nickel in MS67 condition with full steps. Georgia's gold and pastel rainbow tones grace both sides of this premium gem. Lusters and fully struck is a fantastic piece for the registry collector. It was sold for $2,500. 1971 Lincoln sent was double diverse graded in mid state 66 read by PCGS. This is an easy double diverse to spot. Although perhaps not for the obvious reasons, doubling is certainly readily evident on the word liberty and the moting god we trust, and to a lesser extent the date. More prominent, however, is the fact that the obverse is struck from a slightly misaligned die with the results that it appeared to be somewhat off-center. It was sold for $14,950. And the most valuable lot of this episode, CAC proven 1910 Lincoln Sand in PR68 red condition, According to NGC, this is among the more available mud proofs of the Lincoln design. Even so, the number of survivors displaying original red color is quite small. The term mud is misleading as they are actually satin proofs. The coins were not sandblast after striking like the gold proofs, but rather have a natural texture imparted by the dyes. The super gem ended up selling for $165,937.50 with buyer's fee. Thanks for watching this video. Your likes and comments are highly appreciated. And don't forget to smash subscribe and notification buttons below this video. Take care.